What do you want? But I want you. Listen, I don't have time for this cat and mouse stuff, Josephine. I bet you have time to play cat and mouse games with Miss Olivia Martin. Listen, if you touch her... Just remember our agreements and who you belong to. My name is Clayton Andrews, and I'm a math teacher. And if I hear any different... I'm tired of playing games. Olivia. Sir, I know all about your past, and I don't care about anything you did back then. My only concern is us right now. I love you. I love you too. chasing down criminals. My training officer once told me back in the day that I should leave chasing the criminals to the rookies. Sounds like she knew what she was talking about. You did. <laughs> and you're still beautiful, too. <laughs> How's the agency treating you? Overworked, underpaid, passed over for promotions, and always picked for overtime. So business as usual, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. It's good to see you. It is always good to see you. So what brings you to Albany? Well, I've been working a case for the past five years, and it's by far one of my toughest. Now, I've hunted this man down on four continents through countless countries, and I can't even seem to get into the same zip code with this guy. You think he's here in Albany? Well, according to my source, yes. Do you have a location on him? Well, according to my source, he's not far from here. How reliable is your source? Not reliable enough for my boss to sign off on a small surveillance team. You have a file on this guy? Yeah, meet me tonight on Ferry Street. I'll give you the file then. And Howard, this is strictly surveillance. When you spot him, you call me. <laughs> sure. Now, I'm serious. This guy's the real deal. A SEAL team had him trapped in a hotel in Belize with no way out, and he took out the whole team and disappeared without a trace. If we spot him, we'll call you. It's good seeing you. And it's good seeing you. What do you want? Why are you acting like such an ass? You'd rather me be an ass? Let's see Olivia in the coffin. I can't believe you allowed Josephine to do this to you. Yeah, I think we need to end this conversation. No, I think we need to have this conversation. I'm tired of pretending that nothing's going on. Glenn. Josephine is out there living her life. You need to live yours. When you left Josephine, she said that she would leave you alone. If you led a normal life. Your life can't be any more normal. You know what? You stay right there. Why? Because I'm coming to kill you. <laughs> You're joking, right? Who are we meeting here? Wait a minute, I'll be right back. about the information in that folder is going to make you chief of police and earn me an early retirement and a big fat pension you've got to be kidding me are you serious it doesn't get any realer than that hello i'm sorry for what i
Yes. I think the call dropped. No, I hung up on you. You can't take a hint? Okay, I guess I deserve that. I didn't anticipate you accepting my apology. But I had to call anyway. You know, I'm really not a bad guy once you get to know me. And how am I supposed to get to know you? Maybe over dinner? <laughs> Something tells me it's going to take more than one dinner to get to know you. This is it. This is crazy. Shouldn't we call for backup? I mean, if this guy did half the stuff that's in this file, there's no way we're getting him out of here alive. Who said anything about taking it alive? Excuse me? You shoot on sight. You hear me? Are you with me? Yeah. I'm with you. Okay, so what do you think? I'll think about it. Your what? I said I'll think about it. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You okay? <laughs>